In this video, we will cover the calibration of the EWG position transmitter. To access the position transmitter, you must remove the cover on the actuator. This may also be a solid cover. In our example, we have a position indicator. Simply loosen the four bolts on the cover. and the cover can be removed. If you have a position dial, simply remove it. If needed, use a wrench just to pry it off. With everything removed, we can view the area where we've set limits at, and we can see these top portions. There's an S1 switch, an S2 switch, and an indication LED. This is what we will be focusing on for calibrating the EWG. It is important to mention that your open and closed limits must be fully set before you can calibrate the EWG. You can start calibration in either end positions, full closed or full open. In our example, we are currently full closed. To enter calibration mode, we will hold both the S1 and S2 switches for approximately five seconds. A double blink indicates we are in setup mode. At this point, we need to choose if we want four milliamps or zero milliamps at this position. To do this, we are going to hold in the S1 switch. Holding the switch for three seconds will calibrate to four milliamps. Holding the switch for six seconds will calibrate to zero milliamps. A single blink indicates that we are at four milliamps. You can check this signal at your controls or with a meter. If you would like to adjust this signal, you can do so by pressing S1 one click at a time to decrease your signal, or S2 one click at a time to increase your signal. Once you are happy with your signal, we will run this to the opposite position. We will run the actuator open. Once at the full open position, we will hold the S2 switch for three seconds till the light goes solid. We're now outputting 20 milliamps. Same as with the closed, if you would like to adjust the signal, you can single press S1 to decrease the signal or single press S2 to increase the signal. Once you are happy with your value, we need to run this back to the opposite position. Once back to the opposite position, the calibration is complete and your settings are saved.